Hello and welcome along to Mondo Chalabet Movies. My name is John and this video is going to be a bit of everything really. But first, I've got a shout out for you. Hi, my name is Matt from Matt V's Movies. I do unboxing videos, live streams, shorts, um, closer look videos where we give you some trivia and um, film facts and some um, charity shop and car boot um, videos as well at times. So yeah, really appreciate you checking out my channel. So please get along to Matt V's Movies, link down below. And also I'm going to be doing my first live stream of the, the year, can you believe it, on Matt's uh, channel. It's coming up on Saturday the 17th. I haven't got a link for it yet, but when I do get the link for it, I will post it in the description to this video down below. And Matt's a great guy, and I have a lot of time for him. And uh, it'd be great to finally chat to him face to face. I was talking to Matt the other day about a video he'd made recently, about when he's consolidating his DVDs. And I'll show you what he's what uh, I've done with mine. As you can see, I'm starting to get some more space. I wasn't running out of space, but I thought I was getting close, and I didn't like how it was getting a bit uh, sort of claustrophobic on the shelves. So what Matt showed in his video, I've now put into practice. I've got here, I've got a hundred DVDs. So what I've done here, I put two in each bag. So obviously there's fifty bags in here equals a hundred uh, DVDs. Now this has freed up a lot of space on the shelf, especially down there. And I'm not I don't think that these these are ones I want and I still want in my collection. And it's this this box here was two pounds fifty from Wilco's. So basically that just slips under the uh, bed. So this is a really good way to consolidate your collection if you wanted to sort of streamline it, create yourself some more space. Now the company that Matt put me in, in uh, touch with was Steelbook. Steelbook Central. Now this is the receipt I got for this. Now I've got 150 of these bags and you basically you put your, your stuff in there, you tear the strip off, fold it over, job done and you can open it again and that that was the price you paid for them. And this is this is such a cheap price I think and what you can do with this is you can now free yourself up a lot of space and plus keep everything that you had because you don't want to sort of throw that away. So big shout out to Matt and don't forget about that live stream coming up on Saturday the 17th. I think around about 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock mark. Obviously more details I'll, I'll release on other videos and I'll keep you up to date on Instagram and such like. So thanks once again Matt. Cheers. So yeah the studio and it is a studio Deborah, not a garage. Last week we got a new boiler fitted so I had to tidy it up and it was a bit of a chore I can tell you that much. There was stuff everywhere. But the main thing that we've got in, we've uh, tied it up to a quite an acceptable standard. It's a standard where I can actually stand next to it and I can start to record some music again. Here's an early picture of it. As you can see in the picture, it's kind of tidy, but it needs a lot of work in uh, cleaning up properly. And what I'll do is I'll probably do a video actually of how it is now. I'll take you through it and then I'll go through it when I've tied it up. And I'll tell you what sort of each component does. It's quite quite good actually when I think about it. Now, funny enough, I found this. Now I got this in 2016, and I haven't even used. Well, I tell a lie, I have used it. I tried to get it to see my other laptop, and it wouldn't have anything to do with it. So I took it back to Windows, and I said, "Why is this not working?" And he said, "You probably need a new graphics card." They always say that, don't they, when anything doesn't work. So, of course, well, I never got around to it and it didn't happen. And I don't think that would ever get put into my laptop, which isn't working at the minute. But anyway, this laptop, funny enough, when I saw this, I thought, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot on this laptop. Now, this thing, I believe it kind of, I was looking to do something to like sample music. And I think this kind of does that. I think it's going to be a bit of a slog to try and find out how to do this. But if it works, I can incorporate this into uh, Mondo Chalavec, the band and uh, use it on the channel. So yeah, so it'll be interesting to see if I can get this actually working. And uh, so yeah, there'll be a video coming up, um, what's the date, Monday? Probably in about the next uh, 15 years, about how I go about setting up this studio. And to be honest, the, the parts I've got for it, apart from this thing that I can't work, which wasn't too dear, they're all quite accessible. And it means that you can really set up and get yourself the CD quality um, songs quite easily especially as well because it's only me doing them so you can put all all the different instruments yourself and play on the click track and all that and all that type of thing anyway so that'll come down the line so um yeah excited to do that so the other day i met up with nige aka rock god 2004 my co-presenter on the video nasty's live stream 
and we took some footage and the footage is coming up now well look what i bumped into <laughs> you're not following me and then i tell you what i'm out of breath now you know i've got him trained hello i'm in a car park in newcastle and guess what it's, it's nice. fat boy slim <laughs> rock got 2004 hey we've just we've just met up in the town which we've been here for about how many days six <laughs> With no food, no or water, or you haven't. No, I, had, I, I did have a bit. Uh, see, you should have had, had that half of the cake I was punishing this morning. No, man, you should have had it. I, I wasn't hungry. So what we're going to do is we've been in the town. We've, uh, we've seen some stuff. We've bought some stuff. We've made purchases. Yes, yes. After talking in HMV for what was about well six days, three hours. Yes, wasn't it? And uh, actually, when we were there, we went to a fella called James. He said, have you got a YouTube channel? I said, yep. To him, not me. <laughs> but in fact, he went, oh, just, have you seen the video on that stream? Do you know Rock God 2004? No, I do, but he went, um, and carried on talking to him. Well, he tuned in the next one, though, which, speaking of, speaking of that, will be coming up quite soon. Yes. Just gonna, I'm pretty, what's it? June's coming up. I reckon June's going to be the one. Now, what we're going to do is, we're, what we're going to do with the Evil Dead one, First, we're going to do a sort of throwback to the original ones where we go and talk about the tens, ten or so. Yeah, like a batch. And then we're going to go back to, we're going back to skip to the, the Evil Dead, Dead and then we're going to skip, then we're going to go back to the Evil Dead. So in June, you will see a live stream. Yes. Yes. Um, I think so we're doing that just so we can get back into the swing of it before we bring Mikey in for the Evil Dead say, one. Saying that though, you've done about 10 million live streams since yeah but not yeah we haven't well that's it yeah but i'm not done any have i no there you go there is that there is that anyway there's me car over there nigel's up there oh there's mine up there put a big it. sticker on it nice <laughs> <stuff, isn't> like, <laughs> i looked as well unpaid thing is million pounds fine well it's 50 pound an hour here wasn't it yeah <laughs> 50 50 pound pound pound. Pound. but uh so yes so it's good to bump tonight yes after, after all this time uh, it Wonderful. seems like it seems like an about a week, but it's been about a month, isn't it? I think last time I saw you was November or December. Really? I would have said Jan January, no? Is that? No. Wow. January was going to be the next live stream, but... Ah, right. Time flies by. We don't drive or a train. And we even had a good old man hug when we met up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nearly sure be purchases there. You'll have to wait for that one. Now you're just going to go and see Laura. I am. I'll have to for hospital. Who? But uh, Deborah should still be there actually because Deborah, the dead, is looking after Laura at this minute. She is? Or probably Laura's looking after the dead. Oh, they're both them. looking after each other, whichever. Probably, yeah. yeah, they'll probably both be slagging us two off. <laughs> well, tell her I said hello. I will. You'll probably see more of her than I do. I'll tell Laura you said hello as well. <laughs> <laughs> Your husband said hello, or should we go up me? <laughs> yeah. Mondo Celebec and, and Rock God 2004, off ski. That's it. And by the way, watch your ferroxes. Oh yes, watch those ferroxes. What's that? What's your watch? Yeah, three to one. Right, see ya. Silly. So the next video on Nasty's live stream will definitely be out this month. Now I've got a few dates in mind. I've got to get in touch with Nigel just to see which dates uh, fit within. And then we'll announce it to everybody to what part, is it section two, part two? What day that's going to be. Now, with when it's when I'm fitting into work at the moment, I can't imagine it's going to be like an eight, nine hour one. I would love to do one, but I think it's going to um, not be able to do that at this moment. So I think this one might be a bit of a shorter one, might be at the most three hours. But anyway, we'll let you know more on that. But it's definitely coming up this month. Like I say, I've just got to get in touch with Nigel and, and uh, see where, where he's at with them. Now, on that video, you'll hear that uh, Nigel's what he's got some stuff and i've got some stuff i'll leave a link down to his video where you can see what he bought when we met up in hmv and i'll tell you what i bought when i was with him so the movie i picked up is the brain and yep so this is from 1988 it's spine number 27 in the black label collection which is up there uh, 101 films this i'll check this out and the picture quality on this is actually a lot better than i thought it was going to be this is a movie that I've always thought, yeah, I wouldn't mind uh, having a look at that. Now, this has come down to 9 99 
And I always get these movies if I can with the box and the, the booklet. So you're treated to a nice booklet here. You get, I can see that, you get a lot of stuff in there. Great booklets, these. Just the right mixture of pictures and text. Not too much text, because sometimes when you get these that are text heavy, kind of puts you off a little bit. But this is a good um, a good balance, I find. So when I put this movie on, look really low budget and quite stupid, which is exactly what I wanted from it. It's region B locked. And yes, it's a it's a much better quality movie than I thought it was going to be picture wise. So yeah, I'll be checking that one out. So don't forget to check out Nigel's video linked down below about when we met. He's got extra footage on his. So yeah, can't wait to do the live stream for the video nasties. So before I show you what I picked up recently, I've got an unboxing for you. I've just received this through the post of my good friend Martin. Now you might remember Martin had sent me this. I've housed this in this great container, which is I got from my good friend Dave Ramsden and Jill. Not forgetting Jill. And this just looks, it looks, well, it's got to be kept in tip top condition. But this is a great thing to have in here. It just looks great in the shelf. Now I know it's fully, uh, these things are so protective, it's, it's absolutely great. So Martin got in touch and said he'd like to send me something else. And I was like, when he told us what it was, I was like, oh my God. So I'll open this and I'll show you what it was. Nurse Scalpel, thank you. I know I said this before, but I'm constantly amazed by how much money people spend on uh, package this stuff to me and make sure it gets to me in tip top condition. So I've got to thank you once again, Martin, and everybody else who sends me stuff like that. So what Martin has sent me is bubble wrapped. Now Martin said he didn't send a note on this one. So he's just put a, a note on my Instagram messages, which we talk uh, quite a lot, it has to be said. And uh, he's a great guy and he's got some amazing knowledge when it comes to stuff like this. But on his message, he did say to keep up the good work. So thanks once again, Martin. So what Martin has sent me, well, I know what he's sent me, but you don't. <laughs> wow. Look at this. The werewolf versus vampire woman with the slip. So, oh, look at that, 4K, God, right, wow. So just to go over the slip cover a little bit, but, oh, look at this, I've just noticed that. Look at the eyes on there. And I hope this is gonna pick up a spot glossing on there. Great cover there, very exploitational, but you know, that's what I really like. As you can see, vinegar syndrome slip. So you know when you get the vinegar syndrome slip, you're getting some it's absolutely brilliant. Now, as a note to um to this, what I've got is I've got my other vinegar syndromes which are over there, the regular cases. I've got them all in these protective coverings from Dave Ramson. So uh, you'll be seeing that coming up on a later video, but they're great over there, very well protected. And this one will be going in one of those boxes as well. Wow. Can I go over that? And you've got the blood flows like vintage wine. That sounds like something out of a Misfits song. Look at that. Now Paul Nashi is an interesting character, to say the least. And we're talking about how many werewolf movies he's made. And uh, Martin thinks he's made around about 13. And the UK is needs a, a Paul Nashi box set. He's done more probably... Um, Classic horror movies with Werewolf, Dr. Jekyll, all that type of thing. I don't know if he's in a Frankenstein, he probably did. But these, this this character, Paul Nashi, he needs to be seen more in the UK. So, anyway, getting back to this. Look at that. I, I just love these covers. These are the type of covers that really speak to me. These are the type of things I can look at all, all day long. The current, you know, when you get these brand new movies that come out with their big covers, I just don't think they've got the charm. Or just you don't get covers like this these days. Incredible. So Nurse, again, Scalpel, thank you. I'll get into this. Does this have reversible art, even though this artwork is absolutely great? You've got your 4K in there. You've got the Blu-ray. And also, is that, 
extras. I think that's extras. I think you've got a, a Blu-ray disc and also an extras disc, I think. Now, reversible art. Yes, it has. Now, I'm looking at that, even though that's an incredible cover, and I'll tell you why, because it reminds me of the comic I used to watch called Werewolf at Night, uh, watch I used to look at. And this Werewolf at Night comic, they should make a movie out of it. It's just begging to be made. Actually, they did make a, a sort of uh, a thing on Disney Plus, didn't they, by that? But uh, I haven't seen that one yet. I know it's in black and white. So the reversible cover is this one. And this looks like a page out of that comic. In fact, you could, if someone showed me that, I thought that would be, might even be by the, the artist who did Werewolf by Night, who I think his name is, his second name is Plug, I think, if I'm right in thinking. You don't forget a name like that. Hmm, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Could it be that I would use, I would swap this, I'm going to swap this over now, but I might flip between these two every now and again when I get this movie out. And I will, you know, when I watch it, I might put it back like this. But uh, that's a great cover, but I just, I'm drawn to this one at the moment because of the way it looked like that comic that I used to look at watch. Watch, read. Wow. I've just come back from work, so my head's a bit frazzled from that. That's why I'm not really making much sense. It's amazing when you think about you think about 4K Ultras, you know, the, um, the actual, you know, the logo there. And you think it's going to house the best of the movies, like you say, like your Top Gun Mavericks and your Star Wars and Star Treks and all that. And you think that's what you're going to see in it. But these days, when you see something like that, it's next to 4K Ultra ID, a high D, high definition, makes me think that's a kind of, it's bringing it back to like, like the likes of you and me who like this really low budget exploitational movies, which we find so engaging. If you can see that, there's no way I can read that. Far too small. But I'll put that up there and see if you can see what's going on. I would imagine it's got region free there. I'll check to see if the Blu rays are region free in this one. You've played a blinder here, mate. This is um, some of them I'm just so interested in. And also the quality of it is exceptional and very well wrapped as well. So I'll put you back to the video this is coming off. But once again, cheers, Martin. Thanks, mate. 4K as well. I honestly didn't know it was 4K because when I saw it, I thought, wow, 4K. And I thought, I went back through the messages and I thought, I'm sure he didn't mention it was 4K and he didn't mention it was 4K. That's why I got such a surprise with it. Anyway, more about that at the end of the video. So these next three CEX pickups are making full use of the slip covers that were sent to me by my good friend, Michael Hewitt. First, I picked up for 50 pence, Insurgent. This is such a good slip cover. Very deep as well, which you can't really see, but uh, this really sticks out. It's really good. And yeah, it's, like it's 50 pence. I knew these were going to be cheap. Don't know anything about these movies. I know the kind of sci-fi stuff. It's the kind of thing that me and Debs really do like. Actually, we've been getting into sci-fi quite a bit of it recently. More about that soon. And yeah, it was a knock and bet I was going to get this one because of the fact of the. I think that these ones and the other ones are quite cheap in uh, in CX, and I'll be going and picking the rest of them up very soon. So that's Insurgent. So next I got Divergent. Brilliant slip as well. Four fifty pence. Wow. Yeah, so I know there's another one which I will be picking up soon because it is in CX when I next go up to the town. I'll be getting that one. I think it's called, I don't know what it's called, it begins with A. I know it's there because I checked on the, the website. Yeah, so really good to have that. I know it's, uh, there was supposed to be four of them. I read it, but it's supposed to be four of them, but they never got the fourth one, apparently. I think they went to a TV series or they didn't do the TV series, something like that. But the, the first three movies are are there and I checked out the quality of these movies and I've got to say that these movies do look absolutely it's one of those you know the blu-rays that look good blu-rays like near 4k's this looks absolutely incredible these two so yeah can't wait to see them so that's insurgent and divergent and lastly utilizing Michael slips I got for 50 pence the host this slip cover on here is absolutely amazing. I'm sure I saw this in Poundland. Well, looking back on it, I'm sure I saw this in Poundland, but didn't realise the slip was this good. 
but I would have picked it up then. This is another one that looks incredible on Blu-ray. So I want to thank uh, Michael once again for that. So that's the host. Next up from HMV, I got Star Trek V, The Final Frontier on 4K. Now I have put this in a cover as I have done with the other ones, the other Star Trek ones. I just think this is, is a brilliant thing to have in a cover this this set. Me and Deborah are having such watch this actually last night. We are having such a blast with this with this uh, series. Now Deborah's went from saying I don't want anything to do with this movies to saying when can we watch the next one? But well, this uh, this looks incredible on 4K. I would say at this point one and two look sensational. Three and four look pretty good. Five looks a bit better than three and four. And I don't know what six is like yet because we haven't picked that up. Although it's on its way. Crazy as it may seem, I think that this original Star Trek films might be one of my favourite franchises of all time. Wow, can you believe it? Yeah, really happy to get this one. And I can't wait to watch Star Trek VI with the devs. That's Star Trek V. Next up from CEX is a movie I never knew existed on Blu-ray. It is Viva Las Vegas. Now, as you know, at the moment, I'm just, well, I've always, always been a big fan of Elvis, but I'm really in Elvis at the minute. I will get all of his movies if I can, although they're quite, they're not really released in the best format. And I mean, that quite a lot of them are on DVD, video, they're all over the place, actually. We're doing a really good couple of box sets to get uh, Elvis's movies back into circulation. Now, this is a great edition. I didn't even slip cover, didn't know anything about that. This has got in here, it's got the Blu-ray. It's got, I'm going to say, I think they're Blu-rays Blu or the DVDs, maybe. And it's also got the soundtrack as well. Uh, it's got a DVD. And it's, is that the I think they're the soundtracks. I'm not too sure, actually. I know it has got the soundtrack on the DVD and also the Blu-ray. And I put this on, and this is obviously in glorious Technicolor. And it looks really good. It's not as good as I thought it was going to look. Because some of the ones I've seen on Sky Movies, although I haven't seen this one on Sky Movies, because I've got to pay for it, and I don't think that's, you know, at this day and age, you shouldn't have to pay for Elvis movies. It's uh, It looks pretty good, but I thought it could have looked better. I thought it was going to look a bit better because of the fact of the technical and mastery of this, the whole colour scheme of it. It's a very bright film. Uh, it's got the amazing Anne Margaret, and I'm a big fan of Anne Margaret. And, you know, it's, it's widely known that Elvis and Anne Margaret, they obviously shared more than on-screen presence if you know what i mean but yeah so really happy to get that i'm just happy to get any elvis movie actually because uh i would love to collect them all a little bit hard to do that but i really would like to do that so that's viva las vegas so next up back to hmv i got jailhouse rock now i was going to pick this up the other day when i was out with uh, sam glenn denning as when well. i met him and i didn't because i knew there was one out that had the cd soundtrack and that it was 9.99 for the other one and I was just thumbing through the, the bargain bin in, in the HMV and I spotted this one, which has got a lovely slip as well, which matches, which is great. Imagine if they all come out like this. It would be amazing, wouldn't it? Of course it won't. And but the same price you get in the movie and you also get the soundtrack as well. So it was a no-brainer to pick this one up. So, yeah, you get your, your movie there, DVD, and also your soundtrack. And... That is another movie that I've got off the list of Elvis, of his 35 or so films-ish. Now, this movie, when I put it on, it's funny because I had this movie on VHS. I had it on a VHS, and also I had the colorized version on VHS in the same pack, and it looked okay. But these movies on VHS were normally pan and scan. Now, this is 235, and the picture quality in here is stunning. It's black and white. And it's, it's good because I'll say this movie kind of for the first time because of the fact that you're going to see the whole widescreen uh, picture as opposed to the pan and scan version so really it's a I never talk about this enough but back in the day everything was pan and scan so you never saw this widescreen stuff so there's a lot of information on the movie that you never got to see and sometimes when you saw a movie like say for instance jaws you saw it in widescreen it was like a revelation because we're seeing loads of stuff that you've never seen before because three people were talking on the screen, screen at the same time on the widescreen version, but the pan scan would cut between the three people so we wouldn't see their interactions with the other person on the screen, if that makes any sense. I'm sure it does. But this is uh, this is an early uh, Elvis movie and just so glad to have it. And like I say, every time I bump into an Elvis movie, especially on Blu-ray, there's a couple on DVD and I'm kind of tempted to, but... I don't really want to do that because as soon as I do that, 
will be released on Blu-ray postable. So yeah, really excited to see these ones because there's nothing much easier than putting an Elvis film on, just sitting down, switching your brain off and just enjoying what you see. That's Jailhouse Rock. So lastly, thoughts on The Werewolf and the Vampire Woman. What a title. Now this movie is also known as The Werewolf Shadow. Now John Hall did give me a copy of The Werewolf Shadow back in the day. I remember putting it on and being it was only on for about a mi like 10 minutes and it froze and I could not get it past the bit where it stuck. So I never watched the film past the first 10 minutes, which I was really in, you know interested in. And of course, when you can't see it, I thought, oh my God, but I never saw it again. Now this movie is, the other title for this movie is that. I want to put it on, I instantly remembered the bits that I'd seen from the, uh, the original film when I saw it, that well was Shadow. Now this is the alternative title. And when I put it on, I was expecting it's Vinegar Syndrome, so you know it's going to be good. And I was expecting the 4K to look pretty good. And it does. It looks absolutely amazing. Now we've got to understand that this movie is from 1971. So there is limitations on it. It's not as if it's going to look like uh, Top Gun Maverick. But for this movie, it looks spectacular. I was talking to um, Martin, actually, on Instagram. And I said to him, I said, I've checked a bit of it out. And the picture quality, because a lot of it's done in Twilight. And sometimes if that's on a DVD, it wouldn't even bring out what's in the darkness. But this, you can see everything in it. It's absolutely it's pristine. As all Vinegar Syndrome uh, releases are, the prints are absolutely incredible. So I flipped this around, as you can see. I'm going to keep it on this because I really like this cover. And it's, I've checked all the discs out, and it's region-free. All the discs are region-free, even the, uh, the Blu-rays. Now, what you've got in here, which I didn't realize when I first was opening it, you get your 4K, you get your Blu-ray with special features, which are meant to be pretty good, according to Martin. And you also get another Blu-ray, which has two different cuts of the movie. So you've got three different cuts of the movie. Now, the, blue, the 4K has the full version on. That's the uncensored version. And by that, I mean... There's the, sometimes back in the day, it used to film some versions where they would have the same scene, but they used to have more clothes on. And they would film the two different like, scenes together and have like two different cuts of the movie. So you have got in here, you've got the, the sort of uncut 4K. So I went and checked out the two Blu-rays. Now, I was expecting the clothed version to look pretty good. And also the other one with all that sort of footage together to look maybe not as good, but it's not a problem. But both of them look absolutely stunning, look in exactly the same quality as each other, which is just like the 4K. So if you get this set, no, you're going to get region free. You're going to get an amazing 4K of a kind of the full version. You're going to get a, a clothed version, if you want that one, of the same cut. And you're going to get this one, which is longer. But it's it's got, it's this, it's an uncut one. But it's got the bits that, uh, the, the talk and the dialogue that's in this one, that's not in the 4K is in this one so this is the full full version if that's a thing but yeah this it's just it's just amazing and i can't wait to watch this i think i'm going to watch this by well, now basically and it's just these these um paul nashi films they have got this element of kind of italian gothic in them they've all got an element of hammer in them as well so if you like gothic horror like mario barber and you like the hammer films you will love these Paul Nashi movies. I know they're not the easiest things to track down, unfortunately. I would love Arrow or somebody like 88 to do a huge box set of his stuff because he's got loads of great films to check out. But at the moment, you might have to get them from here, there and everywhere. But Vinegar Syndrome have done a, well, the definitive release of this movie. And I can't get over how, how good this slip co well, the slip cover, as you know. You always know you're going to get something spectacular with um, Vinegar Syndrome. So this is another one that I stole in the protective case and I just took it out actually to do this video and I'll put it back in there Well, after I've watched it. So I want to thank Martin once again for sending me this incredible and very generous gift. It's just amazing to have. And like I say, I, I, when, I, when I looked at the 4K, I thought I didn't even know it's 4K and then I thought he must have mentioned it, but he didn't. So that was a, a huge surprise and a very, very generous gift. So don't forget to check out those channels down below. Keep an eye out for Matt's V's live stream that I'm going to be on. And also the Video Nasties live stream. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff coming up. And uh, yeah, so I'm away to watch this one now. So thanks for watching, especially you, Martin. 
You take care and I will see you on the next video. Cheers.